Do you know the colors I would see on the Duchess? Oh, here he comes! A hero! Gerard Driv! Y'all know about me. Hey, there is a exclamation mark in the back. Do I have to go around? Arr! Sorry. Blacksmith. Okay, hold on, blacksmith. Ah, the serendipity. I'm so glad you're back. Vineyard owner? Master Witcher, what luck to happen upon you. Got work for me? New contract? Uh, of the contract in question, you acquitted yourself beautifully years past on your last sojourn in Beauclair. I was in a bit of a bind at the time, do you remember? Yet I swore a solemn vow to pay you in full one day. Guess it rings a bell. Sadly, you went on your way before I could settle matters with you. So, I took your coin and placed it in an account for safekeeping. Oh! Mm. What kind of account? A savings account at Chanfanelli Bank. You need but walk in and withdraw. The sum must be rather substantial by now. Thanks. Head over there first chance I get. Cool, thanks. I don't quite remember you though. By that bank. Paper chase. Oh, we'll look at that in a second. It's so dark. Should I come back in the morning? I can hardly see. Armor's table now available at Corvo Bianco. So is the grindstone. Hello, excuse me. Holy frick. Their store is so fancy. It's like an actual storefront with two floors. The best steel in all of Tusa. Take a gander. Here to collect Louis de Quarantan's sword. Ha! <laughs> That's rich. De Quarantan's dead. Who are you? His brother? His lover? Louis never mentioned either. Maybe so. But he told me a bit about you. Heard you used to play a little Gwent. Had a habit, in fact, till your wife helped you kick the addiction. Real treasure. Wife like that. Ah, oh, the bum poke. Ugh. Here I thought I might hang it over the mantle again. With Louis gnawing radishes from the underside. But it seems I must. So be it. The sword's yours. But don't leave me high and dry. Give me a chance to win back my dignity at least. Perhaps a round or three for coin? Forged in what fire. About the wife? Not afraid she'll. In my home, what I say stands. Women have got no power. Besides which, the wife's away for a few days visiting her sister in Bel. <laughs> so, shall we play? Women have got no power. Definitely not playing Gwent behind her back. Do you have a Skellige card? Alright. Convinced me. Lay him out. We're gonna have to play Gwent at the minimum 20 times here. 19 for the missing Skellige cards, and then the tournament too, so there's gonna be a lot of this going on. Nilf Guardian deck again? Um, sure. I've never really used this all that much anyway. Decoy, clear weather. Gondor Dims! Elf? And then, what is this? Young Emissary? Yep. Olgierd? Kahir? Triss? Letho? Geralt? Okay, well I can do this too. Oh, don't give me Gondor Dim! Oh, thank god. Okay. I guess I'll try to use it immediately. My numbers here today are decent, but no combo effects. No commander's horns, so this might be um, a little bit tough. 
Um, who else do I want to use? 12 versus 14. Maybe like that. Oh, I probably should have saved him, just in case if I got more young emissaries later on. Skoya Tell is not gonna have any spy cards though, so my decoy, I'm not gonna be able to use it to get a spy card back. 20 to 17? I don't know. Should I use all my cards right off the bat? All geared? All geared here. 26? To 20? Unfortunately, I don't have the dragon. Oh, the cards I have left are all really like... They're all hero cards. Are we gonna be okay here? I don't know. If I want to make use of the decoy card, then before this round ends, I should bring somebody back. Hmm. Eight cards, eight cards. We are on even footing here. 33? 30? 35? 33? 35? 40! 40! That means even if I put this one down, I'm not gonna have enough. But maybe I can bait him into... putting down even more cards? You're gonna pass. Okay, well in that case, what I'm gonna do is I'll put down Triss. But I'll take away this guy. Not Olgiard, because he's gonna um, lower everyone else's numbers. This guy. Here. And then pass. Get a tiebreaker win. But now I'm in a real pickle here because he has seven cards, but I have five. I do have my leader ability. What was yours, by the way? Draw an extra card at the beginning of a battle. No wonder. What can I take from you? Dandelion? I can't get a hero card. Would Dandelion be good? It would make this into a double. Yeah, I guess so. I guess so. I'll wait though. I'll wait till the end. Oh, frick. Maybe I should have baited this guy into using cards first. Oh, this is gonna be bad for me, isn't it? Not looking so good. Fair weather? No, uh, save it for later. Melva? 25? 19? Letho? He's still got five cards. 26? 35. Do this. I can do that too. I hope you don't have the dragon. You can't have the dragon, right? You're Skoyatel. Actually, I don't know. Can you? Torrential rain. Doesn't affect me. Good. Now my leader ability. I will bring back Dandelion. Oh! Oh, really? Thank you, God. Oh my gosh. Ooh, this was a bit of a close one. He had two more cards, but I don't know what they were. Babas, <sighs> that happens to the best. It serves me right for challenging a stranger. To have such a deck, ah. So long. <laughs> Thanks for the sword. Do you want to buy my crap, though? Oh, look! A witcher graces my humble forge. Show me what you have. And not a curiosity, are you a master crafter, or...? You are! You're a master. Good to know, a master in Tucson. You can have this stuff. Oh, did I just sell the... No. Forged in fire. <laughs> it's kind of a crappy sword, but I'll keep it anyway. Even though it's not a relic. Just because it has a cool name. Yeah, why not? Why not? Anything worth me buying here? Tucson 
crossbow. Well, the one I have right now is better. And the rest of the stuff... What is this? Elven whetstone? Can I make elven armor? That would be kind of cool. Would you like all these rings? Oh, should I be dismantling these or just selling these outright? I'm not too sure. So if I sell the green gold ruby necklace, it's 82 crowns. But if I dismantle it... Then it's what? Then... I get these two things, which are probably worth less, I guess? A ruby... Hold on. Wait, this is worth 200? Can I actually sell it for 200, though? Yes! Oh, okay, so I should be dismantling these then, because it actually does give me more. Okay. Man, I've been selling them the whole time too. What a waste. I'm guessing the same applies for all these gemstones. Okay, cool. The silverware though, you can probably have it. Gold casket. Nah. I don't think I even use these ingredients all that much, so I can sell you a little bit of ruby. Whoa, a thousand freaking crowns. Okay, well, uh, maybe I cannot sell it for now, but if we ever need money, if I just sell some of my crafting ingredients, we'll probably get a lot because look at these pearls, the black pearls, the white pearls, all the gemstones. Dang. Thank you. Farewell. No, see you later. Okay. Your storefront being on the second floor is kind of... I don't know. It feels kind of unwelcoming, doesn't it? Is this the armorer? The best armor around! That is what I forge! Ah, so sorry. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> what have you got there? Probably not too much, huh? Same stuff? Tucson gauntlets. Ooh, look at all these. Oh, these are all just different styles. But I think we've reached the top of the line already, in terms of the stats. Knight Errant Saddle. Beauclair Saddlebags. Should we buy these? Yeah? That'll give me more inventory weight. That's always welcome. Cool, thank you. Thank you. And can you repair my stuff? So long. You're one of the people that gotta play for the Skellige cards, huh? I'll come back for you, but not right now. There you go, 170. You need new britches? Uh, gauntlets, perhaps? What say you, fair knight? He gave me a different greeting. Mm, what have you got there? Alright, thank you. Goodbye. So long. How many people have we played for the Gwent card now? Three out of nineteen. Ah, so unfortunately, that guy next door wasn't one of them, but this guy is. Oh well, we'll get around to all of them eventually. My prices are the now we gotta go back to Charles Lonzo at the Clever Dogs. I'm guessing that's the name of their inn here? Their pub? Somebody upstairs? Bathing tears away at the skin, and thus brings death closer. Does somebody have the plague? Life's like an infant. It must be born. Noises at the cemetery. You the one they bother? Yes, yes, and I'm alone in that, it seems. That is, 
No one else has bothered to take any steps, though all must hear the racket. Took care of it. Truly? The howling's gone? For good? Wonderful! Ah, to sleep in my own bed again, at long last! But... But... What was it? Some ancient filth entombed deep in the catacombs. Nope. Just a marital spat. That's it? But they hollered like skewered pole cats. <laughs> I know, right? Mm. Sorry to bother you with such a trifle. Here, for your trouble. They were really loud. Thanks. It sounded like somebody was being tortured. Life's like an infant. It must be born. Well, there you go. Stumbling into quests left and right. Fortune feats <laughs> on the board. <laughs> Sorry. Round and round, two sons towns, a witcher chased the beastie. Hmm, so far, the buildings in Tucson almost feel a little bit too clean. Yeah, I know there's a drunk person right here, but it doesn't have the same kind of pub feel as the ones back at Velen. And where is the freaking bartender anyway? There's none. What? Well, can we finally get back to the professor's grave now? The one thing that we came here for to begin with? I was supposed to search for the grave here. Is it this really big one? Patrick Mullins talked himself to death. No. Whoa. Uh, somebody just opened this one. Thomas Moreau, professor. Elas Cavani Al Alder and Do Nevde. Elas Alder and Karasan. Glorison uh, Erlerin. Hmm. Inscriptions in elder speech. Salvation lies not in Do Nevde, but in our hearts. Glory be to Elderin. Somebody try to dig him up. Damn. Professor's journal's long gone. Guess somebody else found out about it too. Should look around, see if I can find something else. Ah. Uh, just to get a refresher here. I got a letter from Yennefer, who told me about the research conducted by a Professor Moreau on Witcher mutations, which could probably aid me. But first, I had to go to the cemetery here to find his journal, which is now gone. Professor certainly can't do much to help me with my search. But how about the grave robber? Footprints, narrow and shallow. Somebody small, light. Woman, maybe? Wonder where they lead. What about an elf? Damn it, trail breaks off. Wonder if the grave robber learned more than I did. Hmm, won't learn anything else here. Map Yen sent me, I'll have to do. Also, Epitaph mentioned both Elorin and Dolnevde, Valley of the Nine. She sent me a map? By the way, are there even any dwarves and elves in Tucson? I don't think I've seen any. <laughs> I don't know Tucson well enough to read this. Hmm. Sight marked on the map's all wet now. San Retour flows through there. Must be where the Valley of the Mine once lay. Need to explore the location. Okay. And that would be all the way out here. Well, why not? Why not? We'll just walk over there then. And maybe we'll talk to Regis while we're at it too, since he's kind of over here too. But I will visit maybe this plot of line while we're at it. Okay, let's go. We haven't seen all of Beauclair yet, so I can't say for sure that there's no elves and dwarves here. Run, but Roche. based off what we've seen, I really don't think there's any here. Is it like a wealth thing? Because normally, I would assume the average human is more wealthy than the average dwarf or elf, right? 
And to live in Tucson, you'll probably have to be fairly wealthy. But then again, there's also wealthier dwarves, like Vivaldi. Grimy chills. But those guys are focused on the business and Velen and all, so they're not here either. Uh, and what do you get for all that work? A crook in your back once so on in years. Uh. What is this place? Just a peasant's home? Take me with you, please. Ah. Yeah, this area. Oh. Wine from poo poo pressed. Its wondrous flavor would still be best. <laughs> it's a vineyard, right? And everybody is drunk from drinking the wine? That's a uh, huh. I wonder how that works. Do these people work here, or is this like a public vineyard where everybody can just drink from it? Oh look, you got the actual buckets and stuff here. Cool. <laughs> There's a lot of drunk people around here though. I don't suppose too much is getting done. Oh, so as it turns out, there's really not too much in this home. Was there a name to this place, or like a fast travel marker? Maybe not even. Some people are still working hard, but the majority of people... I'd stump wine with that one. Oh my god. Stump till we were red What's that place in the distance? The Twin Mountains. Is that a place that we can visit? Oh. I wonder, I wonder. We don't really know, but... It's very striking, even from far away. Should I go here first? It's kind of right next to a town. Going to a town will grant us a new fast travel marker, so we should probably try to go there first and home. We'll go here, and then I think we'll probably go find the Professor Moreau thing first, and then we'll come back to Regis. A small town next to Beauclair. Come on. I swear it. Whether it's luxurious and rich, or poor and not thriving, I'm not too sure. Beauclair is obviously doing pretty well, but I wonder about places next to it. Mirkwood. Frankel Arts. Hmm, this town seems much more peasanty looking. More of what we're used to seeing in Velen and Novigrad. Florence, thank you! Yeah, this Oof. town, not quite as wealthy. The Scarlet Cardinal Inn. Ooh. Guide wanted! In my capacity as a scholar at the Imperial Academy, I have spent the better part of the last two decades studying ancient elven culture. My most recent research bears a working title, The Influence of Ancient Elven Architecture on Human Structures. I am aware the Caraberta woods have been classified as extremely dangerous by the Ducal Guard, but to a true scholar, the quest for knowledge is what matters most, more than even life itself. That is why I seek a local hunter or knight to be my guide and guard. Serious offers only. Johan Neskins Armor at your surface. Hey there, knight! Traveled from afar to visit our beautiful land? Your shining armor loses its shine en route? Perhaps in one of those rowdy skirmishes you knights love to throw yourselves into, paying no heed to how much your armor suffers as a result? Well, you're in luck, for no matter the cause or the extent of the damage, I can fix it. My prices are very reasonable, especially compared to those in Beauclair, where you'll be lucky to pay just an arm and a leg. Come see me, you won't regret it. Lucian. I've seen ghosts. I'm looking for others who, like me, have encountered a strange presence in the Caraberta woods. I would like to discuss what we have experienced. Dagobert. Missing horseshoe. I've lost a horseshoe. It was a good one, with these nice pointy calks. Pay dearly for it, Belhaven. Don't make ones like it here. Return it to me, and I'll give you a bottle of fine vintage in gratitude. Marcel of Bassain. P.S. You'll have to bring it to me. I'm not too mobile, on account of my horse missing a shoe and all. How the heck did you even lose it to begin with? Announcement from the Ducal Guard. Due to the knight's tourney currently being held, 
It is kindly requested. Travelers do not provoke knights errant or challenge them to any duels. Non-adherents will be penalized. Deputy Commander of the Ducal Guard. Horus the Funis. Hortense Vineyard closed until further notice. During an attack by hideous creatures resembling overgrown insects, the owner of Hortense Vineyard sustained serious injuries. As the threat is still present, Hortense Vineyard will be closed until further notice. Our sincere apologies. Being a knight errant is a pretty big deal here, isn't it? It's an occupation that grants a lot of respect. Murderous Vandegilders. I think we've seen this before. Starling, half breed, four fingers. Who presumably has four fingers? Oh, you're making the wine right here. Huh. Even in the poorer villages, they're still making wine. Are the rumors true? Are the elfin ruins somewhere in the woods? I doubt it myself, but the wife, she went berry picking once, came back to say she'd seen walls midst the trees. And did she not go back to rubbish? See if there was treasure to be had? No. I told her there might be treasure, there might not be. Monsters, though, there'd be for certain. Best not venture close. The Caroberta Woods. Was that what we just walked past? This area here? It looks pretty woody. That was Mirkwood. Was that part of the Caroberta Woods? I don't know. Scarlet Cardinal Inn. More like the CD Projekt Red Inn, right? <laughs> It's the spirits frolicking midst the ruins of Termes Palace. I've this strange inkling my that's back a load ache, something of horrid. Ruin. Something strange in the woods. Very nicely sized inn. Whoa! Demonic happenings are taking place here. <laughs> You know what we haven't really seen this whole time? Bandits. Did you fall for me at first sight? Maybe we just haven't wandered to the right places. Or maybe there are more knights than bandits. So we usually see knights, not the bandits. Are you a Gwent player? Yes, you are. Oh, there's so many Gwent players here. Should I play again? Tranquil Arts? The Caroberta Woods are named after Toussaint's reigning duchess's grandmother, Duchess Carolina Roberta, who loved organizing elaborate games of hide-and-seek in this forest. A small trapper's post located on its outskirts has grown into the tranquil village known as Frankel Arts. Here, hunters, woodcutters, and beekeepers come to sell the fruit of the woods. The village springs to life once a year when Baron Trastamara organizes his annual wood festival and invites all the court out for a spectacular hunt. Oh. Welcome to my humble establishment. What land do you hail from? Uh, been on the road so long, don't know how to answer that. Let's just say I'm from the north. Ah, is it true what they say about the war, death, destruction all about? Exaggerated. Not by much, though. Oh, forgive my asking about thy family in Edirne, see? So I'm curious. But please, do tell me what I can do for you. Oh, I don't even know what Edern's like right now, ever since the whole thing with Saskia and Yorveth. Mentioned you have a family in Edern. Where about, if you don't mind my asking? In Vengeberg? You've been there, perhaps? <laughs> yeah, number of times. It's the hometown of my... Hmm. Hmm. Of someone very dear to me. <clears throat> At any rate, pretty town, Vengerberg. Also didn't suffer too much during the invasion, from what I know. Phew. That is a relief to hear. A weight off my shoulders, I tell you. All they know in Tucson is that there was a war in the north. But if they have family there, there's not really any way for them to find out what really happened. Especially because they would have to rely on stuff like pigeon mail, right? But then... During war times, those services are probably disrupted. Show me what you're selling. Should I still be buying the 
mandrake cordials and stuff. Yeah, why not? I'm not exactly stinking rich anymore, though. <laughs> At least I don't feel stinking rich, so... But it's not like these cordials cost too much anyway. Okay. Would you like some silverware or an elf head? A gold casket, perhaps? Glass. Glass is worth nothing? Have all of this. Where are we getting false teeth from? Like, what is this? Oh my god. Somebody's teeth. It's just falling off. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Alright, well, thank you. Um, would you like to play Gwent? You play much Gwent? Up for a quick match, maybe? Yeah, let's do a quick match since we just did one. I guess my comfort deck again would be Northern Realms. What? Oh, okay. Decoy, Commander's Horn, Elf, Gondor Dim, Gondor Dim. Commander's Horn, Blue Stripes, Blue Stripes, Trebuchet, Vernon Roach, John Atalus. I can take away one more. Hmm, a little bit of a weird hand, huh? Who should I take away? Commander's Horn for real? I have more Commander's Horn than I have freaking numbers. That's a bit. Um. Yeah, let's take away one Commander's Horn. I got a Siege Tower thing. Not too sure what I want to do at this point. Well, let's hope it all goes well. Yeah, my cards are kind of all spread out across the rows here. Stefan Skellen. I can decoy you, but I wonder if you have other spies. Because this one's a 9, so if you have another spy, I would rather take that spy instead. Fighting Frost. Crinfred. Oh, he passed! Um, okay, in that case, I will take your... I don't have any medics, so I'll take your spy here. And even if I do that, I can give you the 9 again. Geralt, and a trebuchet thing. Okay. 11 cards, 11 cards. We are on even footing here. Except I won the first round. Plus, I just got another blue stripes, was it? That's pretty good. Hey, maybe I can seal the deal right here, or force him to use some of his cards first. If I have a commander's horn, I probably want to use it on close combat, right? Because I got these three blue stripes here, which means... Which means... This is kind of a throwaway card. Fighting Frost is for what again? Close combat. Ooh, I don't have clear weather here, so I should be a little bit careful, shouldn't I? Although I'm not even sure how being careful would even look like here. We could use a commander's horn if we're really desperate, but uh, for now, let me just throw down a few things. Y yeah. I could actually use Biting Frost right here. Yeah. Seven cards, seven cards. 24 to 23. Do I want to keep going? Mmm... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put down one more card. You have to win! So you have to beat me. No, I feel like my commander's horn combo here will be okay for the last round, so let me keep going. Okay. 54! 43. I'm okay. He's won the round. The battle, but not yet the fight. 
For this kind of combo though, I have to be really careful about things like Scorch or the Dragon. He already used a Dragon, so I'm hoping he doesn't have Scorch, but you never really know with these things. Although I do feel like if he had it, he would have used it already. If he has a Biting Frost, I'm also kind of done. Ooh, frick. Good thing my number is slightly higher, huh? Oh! Oh my god! Oh! <laughs> I got really lucky here. His very last card was a Scorch card, my goodness. We still got it, but there was probably room for improvement in terms of strategies that round. But I won, so whatever. Ermion! I must have eaten something rancid. Hey, Edgar! Are the rumors true? By the Are the elves somewhere? Keep calm. Start no pros. But the wife. Oh, there was an armorer here, Lucian, who said he had good prices. Oh, eh? What's that? No Gwen for now. Mind showing me your wares? Mm, I don't really have anything that I need to sell you, huh? You're a journeyman, so you're cheaper because your skills aren't as good. Which is pretty fair, I think. Don't need you for the moment. So long. Justin, jewel encrusted This guy does have a Gwent card, so eventually we will have to come back to him. But overall, it's a pretty small village here, huh? Not too much going on. Let's keep heading this way then, and we'll head straight towards the question mark if we can. Gwent is an old game. That's its strength. Oh wow, a pool. Uh. Yeah, this town is clean and orderly enough, but very clearly not as rich as Beauclair, which makes sense because Beauclair is where the Duchess lives, right? But look at all these vineyard yards though. <laughs> You know, overall, Tucson's not doing badly at all. No war. No famine, hopefully. Although we're not too sure on that front. Thank you for all the food. And look at their houses! They even have second floors, what the heck? That's because their houses are kind of like farmhouses. Why are there so many spoons here? <laughs> I'll take all of that. Thank you. Goodbye. <laughs> Turn steadily. My Camelac aches something fierce. Oh, I bet you would get cramps from doing this all day long. Okay. Is the question mark in this direction here? I think so, according to... The big marker. Don't think I'll be needing Roach, huh? Yep. Monster? Oh, I see it already. Do you see the devil? I do. Archispor is Cursed Oil. And Ard Igni? Cursed Oil. And probably some Tony Owl and all that. Igni would be really good for me here, if I could get it going on, the whole exploding thing. Oh! Golden Oriole would be good here too, huh? Golden... Oriole... Oh! <laughs> Geralt! Take out your sword! Oh no, 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 I'm... I've taken it out, and then I put it away, and now I'm taking it out again. Ew. 
If they're trying to attack me with poison, it's actually healing me, so that's not too bad. Hey, when they're not here, and I get them... Oh, there's more and more coming out. Jeez. I was thinking we could get rid of the small ones first, because maybe that would be getting rid of the teleport points, but it seems like it doesn't work that way either. All I know right now is that Golden Oriole is a complete godsend. Die, burn and die, devils! Are we done here? Oh. Leather bound journal. The bisons jumped up again. Gods. Chen Fanelli won't have any pity on me. Why oh why did I take out a loan in a foreign currency? Those heartless bankers will have my hide. What'll I tell the wife? If things continue like this, we'll soon be copperless. Grandpapa mentioned something about elven ruins full of treasure, flooded by the river centuries ago. Perhaps I really might find something there. Enough for the next payment, if nothing else. Hmm, but that was just a journal. No quest attached to that. Arca spores will sprout again. Should destroy the area if I want to get rid of them for good. You got it. Looks like we're not going to be finding the elven runes today. There's even rune stones in there. <laughs> Gosh. Well, these archaeospores are products of the evil, after all. They grow in places where people have died, apparently. Which makes me wonder, did that guy die to the archaeospores, or did the archaeospores spawn there because the guy died? Is there a cave in here, underwater? Oh, so maybe that's the cave the journal was talking about, huh? Oh, wow. What's behind me? Please don't hurt me, please! No, get him! Thank you! We got some elven runes here, all right. Hmm, we might want to go back up for a second first. There is another drowner right by me, apparently. He's gonna nip at my feet soon. Ow! Okay, can we take the killer whale potion here? I think we have to open the inventory. Killer whale. Just get a little bit of extra... breath here. Search for the entrance to the professor's laboratory. Ooh, it seems like it's sealed magically. Can we... Oh, it's a portal! Well, we made it in. Grave robber must have found something in Moreau's tomb to activate the entry portal. Wonder what surprises this place has in store. Now I'm kind of scared. Should I meditate? We should be okay for now. Oh, the portal goes inland. Oh, then maybe Regis would know about this place. He seems to live right next to it. Cat potion, maybe? Oops. I don't see any living things so far, but the... As usual. Whoa! Sick sense of humor someone's got. Oh, ran right into that one. Somehow made it out alive because of my Quen. How about let's meditate a little bit first? 
I was gonna say, there's no signs of life, but as usual, the fires are all lit. Ah. So only some of them are problematic here. Ooh, this one's kind of hard. It's Chrissy Crossy shape. Who are you? There's a chest over here. Oh god. <laughs> I got stuck. Dimeridium ingot. It's a pretty good indication that there are some magical happenings here. Veins of ore. If the professor was conducting some kind of research here, then I feel like we should be expecting to see stuff like golems. Never liked cats. Guardian. Oh my gosh, they're so fast. I can't fight two of them at once, can I? Damn it. Not good. Burn. Oh. It's always kind of crazy to me that even though the owner of the magic being used here is long dead, the magic still works. Should I be going down there? Mm. Maybe we'll walk across first? Dead end here. We got a nice ancient relic sword. Wonderful. Right up my alley. Now down here... Oh? Was there something glowing there just now? Seems so. This way we will get back to... over here. Hey, we're starting to see some weapons we've never seen before. Oh god! Whoops. <laughs> 